You could confer with the sheriffs? We have met with uh, Sheriff Michael Corona on Tuesday afternoon, and we've met with uh, District Attorney Tony Rakakis on Wednesday afternoon. And we're in that conundrum, David, where we're faced with what we see as violations of the Constitution. And as an elected official, I, I, I took an oath to uphold the state constitution. So we're sort of in that area where you say, well, do you ignore what you've learned, or do you at least bring it to the board for a vote and get some resolution? And so they fully appreciate the, the situation. I don't, are you in, uh, where, is it, where are the sheriffs in terms of their contract now? We are still negotiating with AOCDS. It should have been uh, resolved in October of last year, uh, but uh, those negotiations are still ongoing. Uh, are they currently operating under a three-year contract, you know? Um, I am not positive, Dave. Maybe the CEO or the chair might have the answer. Do they're, you operating think under, they're operating under an expired contract, which continues on until a new contract is negotiated. John, do you think you have the votes for this on the board? Um, I, I, I guess I, we will certainly present it, to, we will present it to everyone and they have to make up their own minds, but we feel, personally I feel that uh, we, we have to look at what's our exposure if we don't go for it. And John, how, could, how hard could this potentially affect somebody who, as you alluded to, has been depending on this money? There uh, are two schools of thought, Lori. One is because it allowed individuals to retire at an early age, they could be working a second job in, in what we would call uh, double dipping. So they would get a decrease in one revenue source. Uh, so it wouldn't be a, a, a real uh, concern fiscally. Uh, the other side is that some people may have made plans, bought homes, financing grandchildren's educations that it might impact dramatically. If I can uh, add some numbers to that, the average pension for 3% and 50 retirees is something north of $70,000 per year. Uh, the worst case scenario is that someone's annual amount will decrease by a third, but many, of course, will have a much smaller decrease because only those who retired that immediate first day would have that one-third decrease. Everyone else would still have some blended rate that included 3% at 50 after June 28, 2002. 